Hey guys, welcome to another one of my videos. I just watched episode 8 of season 4 of Game of Thrones, the new episode that came out, and it was such a noteworthy episode that I just had to say something about it. So this is a reaction video. Alright, first and foremost, Obviously, this video is going to contain spoilers about Game of Thrones Season 4, so if you have not seen it, turn this off now. If you have not seen the episode, go watch the episode and then come back here. Spoilers abound, alright? So just go. Since you watched the episode, you probably know what I'm going to be talking about, and that obviously is that one time Sejora Mormont got fucked over by Daenerys. Now I'm just messing with you, we're actually here to talk about the Red Viper versus the Mountain. Fans of the show have been hyped for Tyrion's trial by combat where the Red Viper is to take on the Mountain, Oberyn versus what's his name, Clegane, you know, the Hound's brother. And there have been posters around, there's been a lot of hype, fans of the books were going all <laughs> like the bastards that they are. And the show took a one week break which only increased the anticipation. And now, here we are. The fight itself was really really well done. I think the fight choreography was amazing. I think that the acting was really great. The dialogue was really really good. It actually reminded me of this favorite scene of mine from The Princess Bride. You killed my father. Prepare to die. But well, that fight, am I right? The way that that fight turned out, oh my god. Oh my god, he had won! Seriously, if it was skill against skill, he had won! He had the guy beat, and he's called the Red Viper, so I'm assuming that he like poisons his blades and shit, but he had to be all, you killed my sister, you raped her, and then you killed her children. I understand that you're in a bit of a mood after all that happened, and you've been carrying that for you for a while, but dude, you won! And then you just had to fucking talk, didn't you? Just had to make a thing out of it. And now you're like... <laughs> and I really liked you. You were interesting, you were exciting, and you were a wild card. You could have played it right and really fucked them up. But no! You just had to do it, didn't you? You just had to. I put all my faith in you so that you can get my man Tyrion out of the jam that his bitch sister put him in. And what the fuck did you do? God damn it! And the mountain. Right now, I don't know whether you live or die, but you better die after this because I know that you used to be played by another actor and then they replaced you and no one gave a fuck because nobody gives a fuck about you. This is probably the one time you do something that's interesting. So why don't you do something that's more interesting and fucking die? So that at least my man didn't die for no reason, alright? Fuck this guy. While I was watching the show, I was so drawn into the fight, I was like, <gasps> I had my hopes up, and once again, I just got George R.R. R. Martined. I got Martined right in the ass. How many times am I going to let you rip my heart out, Game of Thrones? And that's pretty much it, guys. You might notice that I'm not really wearing my usual stuff, but that's because I watched the episode and I was so affected by it that I had to make a video at once. I literally just got back from work and it is boiling hot in here but I do not give a fuck. I need to pull this shit out there because I know that there are people who feel the same way. Because oh my god! Oh my god! In the end, I think Game of Thrones and me, we're kinda like in an abusive relationship. It rips my heart out and I rant about it but you can bet your ass I'm gonna be there next week to see what happens next. And on that note, let's just end things. <sighs>